welcome back to JMX Pro. We are here in San Marcos, Texas at the Flying Armadillo Disc Golf Ranch. Uh, we are particularly excited for this one because it has what looks to be an excellent mini golf course. In fact, when we watched the flyover on YouTube, we decided that we pretty much had to come to Texas for this very reason. So here we are. It looks incredible. I'm trying to give you a little bit of a look around. It's very dry, it's very hot. Um, but we're going to record uh, the entirety of our first round of mini disc golf and put it on YouTube. So we hope you enjoy. Anything from you, Jamie? Go flying armadillo. There's a big green lizard on hole number one. He loves to eat discs for dinner. So don't throw at the hungry reptile, my friend. Throw left or throw right for a winner. Gee, I tell you what, Great. pretty good ace run. <laughs> First up. First up. Two, the monkey hole. Three monkeys are watching you throw and the basket's location is insane. So keep your eyes on the fairway and pray for that rare day when your disc has an eye for the chains. Hit the house though. Nice. We've got windows. Let's go. Hole three, the lefty hole. Hole number three is a tight little annie. Through the trees, you can just see some yellow. And if you hit your line just right, you could be a happy fellow. I would. But... Uh, okay, fine, fine. It's the lefty hole. Hole four, the canopy hole. There are lots of ways to skin a cat if a juice will make you purr, but if an ace is where you're at, hit the hole, hit the canopy, sir. Hole five, the straight hole. Hole number five is oh so easy. Throw straight down the middle with pace. There's no tricks, no gimmicks, no hidden trees. For you, it's an easy pace.
hit me in the leg. But he had more chance of getting an ace, so who's the real winner here? Hole six, the sunken basket hole. It's a crazy hole, I have to say. It's buried just like a casket. But if you keep your shot down low, it could skip into the basket. Oh, cool. No, that was okay. <laughs> Hole seven, the tunnel hole. It's a long, narrow tunnel you can throw with a putter. And if you can make it, please do. But if you just hate that you can't throw it straight, a roller could do the trick too. Oh, <laughs> with some pace too. It's a nice tree. Hole eight, the island hole. There's an elevated tee box 10 feet in the air. Throw your disc on the island. Go for the chains, if you dare. But miss the island and you've got no one to blame. Take a penalty stroke and throw from the pedestal of shame. Oh uh, yeah, that's it. This one, I think maybe. Cool. That's Island. Way too hard. Maybe hit a rock and stayed in? Let's hope. We'll see. All right, we're ruling Jamie inbounds here. Yep. I think that's PDGA. He's taking his, he's taking his meter. Wow. Yeah, I'm inside the circle. Pedestal of shame. Hole nine, the sign hole. There are signs to warn you of danger. There are signs that will show you the way. There are lines you can throw through the signs if you dare, or you can go for that sweet ricochet. There's a ramp you could use. Ooh. Street is golf. <laughs> Hole 10, the pee hole. <laughs> There's a basket there under the oak tree. A limb makes such the shot such a pain. But flick your disc left of the basket and watch it skip into the chains. Hole 11, the lighthouse hole. That lighthouse basket looks tempting. It's 10 feet up in the air. But if you go for the ace and you miss it, you'll have a heck of a comeback putt. <laughs> I think. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Woo! 
Hole 12, the big bird bell hole. There's a big yellow bird up high in his nest, and six bells hanging like the fruit. Throw an annie between two poles on the left, or go right to that tough yeti root. Now, if you happen to ace this hole, this old hole, there's ways you can celebrate. Me, I'd ring those bells so hard you could hear them all over the state. Let's go! Gimmicky holes are lots of fun, especially when hung from a pole. With shoots and screens and ricochet hoods, it's the ultimate gimmick hole. Throw at the shoot or throw through the screen. Take a shot at a ricochet hood. When you finally hit that gimmicky ace, you'll know then that's gimmicky good. Cruel game. Oh, oh come on! <laughs> That's gimmicky good. Hole fourteen, the roller hole. When the tee, when the basket's guarded really well and the tee is super tight, then roll, throw a roller up the ramp and watch your disc take flight. <laughs> There's a Sherman tank there on a bunker at the end of a short pinto hole. The basket sits high on the turret while two flags fly proud on their poles. There are multiple lines to this basket or a tomahawk over the top. Or try for a kiss off the flagpole. But be careful that you don't get shot. That was so bad. Courtesy of the red, white, and blue. Oh. Okay. in the hanging basket hole. It's a simple straight shot to the basket. Keep it low and just under the tree. Check the wind because the basket is hanging and it moves and there's hardly a breeze. And that's a foot fault too, so... Hole 17, the pond hole. There's a pond on hole 17 that's shaped like a big butter bee. You can throw for an ace or lay up just in case you're worried about hitting the green. But if your disc ends up all wet, scoop it out of the pond with a net, get over your shock, and climb up on the rock. You'll be putting for three, don't forget. It's out of the water. <laughs> All 
All right, well, the rules state that you'll be putting for three. Hole 18 is the Alamo. The real one's in old San Antonio. A basket's inside and the roof's open wide. For an ace, you can call your own. For the Texans defended Alamo for 13 long, day long days that spring. So Houston would swoop Santa Ana and forever let freedom ring. Let freedom ring, boy. Let freedom ring. Dang, over the top. <laughs> you respect the Alamo. Welcome back to JMX Pro. We've just finished our first 18 holes at Flying Armadillo Mini Golf Course, um, a part two course. Uh, we haven't, uh, we lost our way on U-Disc somehow, so we're going to have to review the video to see who won. But I think Jamie comfortably won, except that I was the only one to make an ace. Um, it exceeded expectations, I have to say, of how fun this would be. Um, every hole brought a unique challenge and uh, it's clear that they've put a lot of care into this place. Just lots of really cool um, little sculptures and, 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 and wood carvings around the place. Yeah, would yeah. you make it? Um, I'm just excited to play it 12 to 13 more times. Yeah, we're definitely going to play it several <laughs> more times today, despite it being extremely hot. Um, yeah, uh, we're probably not going to um, do any more recordings, maybe the odd hole here and there. Um, but uh, yeah, hope, I hope this was in, enjoyed by all who watched. Let's get it.